This is Ken Ran Dom, and you're watching Warp Pulse Movie. I'm Jeremy. Thanks for tuning in today. Got to see cameraman Dom do the intro on this one. Uh, that's my son, so we're kind of like a father-son team here. Uh, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about the uh, snake room that we built. And after that, there's going to be a slideshow, a couple little movie clips in there with it. And then there's going to be a little feed video with it. So let's get right into it. Um, the exterior, all the walls on the outside have one inch thick foam board on them. Uh, surrounds the whole entire room. And then we have the two by fours up for the walls. Uh, the Any wall that is against an exterior wall of the house, or technically in the basement, because that's where the room is, um, has fiberglass insulation. In, in it and then on top of that the interior walls all have half inch thick foam so uh until you factor all that in and the drywall we're talking about six inches thick of wall so uh it's very very well insulated in here which was the main goal to try to keep all the heat in because let's face it basements get damp and cool uh and just in case winter time i didn't want to have if we would lose power, we have a wood stove, so that's just right on the other side of the wall. So wintertime heating is no issue at all. So uh, but rather a nice setup. I was rather pleased with it. Alright, so this is the snake room before the paint. Display windows there. Like right now, there's the baby rack, and there's our homemade incubator. All right, so here's the uh, finished product uh, ceilings all up, lights are all in. The only thing is that uh, it won't be till July till I get the electrician in to hook all the lights and all the receptacles up to the uh, sub panel. But other than that, everything's all good to go. Just have to 
hold on tight and wait. Um, the receptacles that you guys saw, it looks a little overboard. When we, when I originally designed the room, we were going to be going with the, the TGR racks from Tallgrass. Um, but due to COVID, Tallgrass uh, stopped producing and uh, went out of business with their racks, which really sucked, but is what it is. Uh, so we made a jump to ARS. I've been very pleased with their racks so far. So far we have a partial adult, uh, 5540, or yeah, 5540 I think it is. And we have a 1065. Uh, both of them are the hybrid racks, so I'll be doing a review on those at some point in time, but I'm very, very pleased with those racks. Um, but since switching to those, now I don't need all the receptacles, so now it's just kind of handy that depending where the racks all lie, I have more than enough receptacles to go around. Um, so, I won't delay anymore. Uh, we'll go on to the feed video. And uh, all we do here is we feed frozen ball. Uh, I don't do live. Uh, so if anybody's squeamish or you don't like to see snakes attack food or anything, uh, now's your time to turn it off. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're gonna do some uh, feeding of the uh, snakes. Saturday night is always feed night. So, uh, Start off here with one of the carpet pythons. She's a jungle. The thing I love most about carpet pythons, one is not only are they stunning, but they always eat. Got a, she's always a little on the feistier side, so we always try to be a little bit more careful with her because she's very quick on the draw, as you can see. All right, we'll let those girls start to chow down there, and we'll start up with some of the ball pythons. First up is going to be our Exantic Orange Dream. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Looks like she's actually going in to a shed, maybe. She looks looking a little on the cloudy side. Now what we do when we unthaw our rats is we unthaw them in Ziploc bags in hot water. And then I go and I stick them underneath the heat lamps just to give them a little bit of extra temperature so that way the snakes pick them up a little bit quicker. This here is our Xantic girl that just laid last week. She's eaten two mice, so hopefully she'll go onto the rats for us.
if he wants to. He's not quite sure. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta do that old drop method just to get that reaction going. That makes me super happy that she's back on raft. Let's face it, a girl her size should not be eating mice. And we'll try the pastel banana that just laid for us the day right after the exam pick did. Same thing with her, she also has eaten two mice. There we go. There we go. I'm probably wondering why I only unfold, or why I only thawed out a couple of rats. Most of the snakes are actually all food, which shouldn't surprise anybody. Our killer bee here. I highly doubt she'll eat because I do believe she is gravid. Yeah, she wants nothing to do with it. If she is gravid, she's due to lay June 6th. Try her pewter leopard, which I think she's building because she's normally a heavy hitter with the food. But now she wants really nothing to do with it. Here's our orange dream fire, possible yellow belly, which is the male we paired up with the uh, killer bee that you just saw earlier. And he's still off, dude. This here is our puma male, which he was originally supposed to be a she, but there was a sexing issue. So he actually ended up getting thrown into the pewter leopard female. Once we discovered that she was, that she was really a he. Here's our Lesser platinum female. There we go. Right. Go over here and try to uh, see if our leopard, lesser spot nosed male will eat. This one. He used to eat rats like it was nothing. Now, for whatever reason, all he wants is mice. And like some of the others, he's just all food, not wanting anything to do with it. So we'll try this guy, the orange dream again, because sometimes he prefers to have mice over rats. their second mouse and they, they each get two mice because of the space that mice are small she's so gentle sometimes it's funny Over to the other jungle. This 
she is always playing her second mouse. There's that. I'll have to uh, pull out another rat yet because I know that there's still at least one more male that'll eat. And we'll try the other two males to see if they go. All right, just finished thawing out the uh, last rat. We'll try the other two out here, or the other three, I should say. See if they want. Nope. He's not interested. That was our desert ghost male. Try our bumblebee clown male once. Nope. Now here's the GHI Mojave. He's the, uh, the, the sire to the uh, banana pastel plus. Sometimes they don't. That's the way it goes with ball pythons. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.